Assalamu alaikum dear student how are you all i hope you are all well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nievs home school i am nasima akhtar assistant teacher of science national ideal english version school morning shift today i am going to take an elementary science class for class 3 student today our ch chapter name is hygiene so let's start today's class student at first we will read out this chapter and then after that we will do some exercise based on this chapter this is chapter 8 topic is hygiene and this is our class number 3 disease there are invisible invisible germs all around us some germs cause diseases in people these germs can get into our bodies when we drink or eat contaminated water or food if we rub our eyes with dirty hands or put dirty hands in our mouth germs can also get into our body when germs multiply in our bodies we become ill that means when germs increase in our body we become ill number 2 point is keeping our body healthy our body has a natural ability to fight against disease and destroy germs maintaining a healthy life is a good way to improve such ability a well balanced diet can keep our body healthy it is also useful to do moderate exercise and get in a rest and sleep you can see here is a picture they are doing exercise and you have to take balanced diet for healthy life and you have to take enough sleep if we get a disease we need to see a doctor and take medicine we also need to take rest eat nutritious food and drink safe water to recover from disease now next point is prevention of diseases germs are everywhere each time we touch something such as a door handle table chair or toilet we can pick up germs or spread germs but we cannot avoid touching everything germs can also spread through the air from person to person when an infected person sneezes or coughs germs can spread through insects such as mosquitoes and house flies the most important way to preventing diseases is to stop the spread of germs here are the good habits to stop germs spreading and prevent diseases first one is keeping the body clean we need to take care of our body by keeping it neat and clean we have to brush our teeth after meals and bath with clean water and soap every day we also need to clean clothes regularly we need to care for our skin hair nails eyes and ears to keep our body healthy you can see this is a picture he is taking a shower and she is brushing her teeth and clipping nails next point is washing hands germs can get into our bodies when we touch our mouth eyes or nose with dirty hands dirty hands can spread germs when we touch something washing or hand with soap can clean water is the best and simplest way to prevent diseases we have to wash our hands before eating and preparing foods and after using the toilet using safe water polluted water causes disease we need safe water to prevent diseases we have to use safe water to drink to prepare foods and to wash our body 
safe water helps our body work properly and washes germs off and keep us healthy you can see here is a picture uh, he and she washing hands with soap and she is drinking safe water and our next point is cleaning the environment we need to clean our surroundings to reduce the spread of germs regular cleaning with soap and water is one of the useful ways for removing germs in our houses or schools we have to wipe the benches tables chair etc and sweep the floor to keep it clean we should put garbage such as kitchen wastes paper and banana skin in dustbins or a specific place we should also keep toilets neat and clean because germs can spread through urine and stools we have to use toilets properly and wash our hands with clean water and soap students now we will do some exercise at first we will do fill in the blanks here is three fill in the blanks number 1 is we may get sick when dash enter into our body the answer will be germ germs two number we keep good health we need to eat to keep good health we need to eat balanced diet answer will be balanced diet balanced diet sorry answer will be balanced diet our next uh, fill in the blank is we should put garbage or waste in dash or specific places the answer will be dust bin so we will write here dust bin Okay now true false One number eating lots of food is a good habit to avoid getting sick No eating balanced food so this statement is false we will write here false Okay two number polluted water causes disease yes this is true so we will write true here Three number a well balanced diet can keep our body unhealthy. No, this statement is also false. We will write here false. Okay, now we will our next exercise is one word answer. Question is what do we need to take if we get diseases? Answer will be one word medicine. Two number question is write the name of a common disease. Answer will be cholera. Now, our next exercise is answer the following question in short. Question is what should you do after using toilet? Answer will be we should keep toilets neat and clean because germs can spread through urine and stool tools. We have to use toilets properly and wash our hands with clean water and soap after using toilets number 2 question is mention three ways to keep the environment clean the answer will be we need to clean our environment to reduce the spread of germs three ways to keep our environment clean are given below one number we should keep toilets neat and clean two number in our houses or schools we have to wipe the benches tables and chairs and sweep the floor to keep it clean three number we should put garbage in a dustbins or a specific place now broad question answer question is 
give four good habits to prevent diseases answer will be our body has a natural ability to fight against disease and destroy germs for good habits to prevent diseases are given below one number is to prevent disease we have to take care of our body by keeping it neat and clean two number point washing our hands with soap and clean water is the best way to prevent disease three number we should drink safe water to prevent disease and four number we should keep toilets neat and clean because germs can spread through urine and stools so dear student your hw will be short question answer that means here is a two short question you can see here is a two short question one number is this what should you do after using toilet and two number is mention three ways to keep the environment clean so dear student i hope you have understood today's topic keep practice at home and um, do your sw in your sw copy and submit your sw every sunday in our school library section and you will get your city marks diary marks every uh, sb marks based on this uh, sw so i hope you have understood so dear student uh, we will uh, see you again in our next class stay home stay safe thank you